Hi everyone, Steven here with eTrailer.com. Today we're looking at this GoPower PWM solar charge controller with built-in Bluetooth and an LCD display. It's considered a single bank 30 amp ran on 12 volts. So again folks, this 30 amp solar controller is going to prevent harmful overcharging of your RV's batteries. It's going to monitor and adjust output from solar panels and it uses digital PWM technology to regulate panel output and thus providing a consistent charge. Now it has a single bank battery charging terminal that lets you charge one battery and you've got some connections out here on the side with the screws here and they tell you uh, you know positive negative then battery positive negative vice versa and those kind of things so they are built into the plastic molding as well to help you with that. It's got an automatic multi-stage charge and it's going to switch modes as the battery charges and it's going to help extend the battery life by doing that. And it has preset charging profiles for sealed, gel, AGM, flooded, and lithium batteries. Now the maximum power boost technology will top off your battery charge to run electrical loads at night. It's going to feature a backlit digital LCD display that's going to monitor current, voltage, and state of charge. And the Bluetooth function lets you monitor statistics and also configure settings from your smartphone. It does require uh, the free GoPower Connect app. You can get that on your phone, Android and Apple products alike. And you can also operate GoPower pure sine wave inverters with communication cable, and that's sold separately. Now another thing to mention is that uh, it has a flush mount uh, option here so you can give it a sleek integrated look. You do get the four screws for installation. One thing that's not included is you may potentially need an adapter plate to install this if you're covering a gap replacing either an older model or maybe a larger solar controller as well. So let's do some quick dimensions real quick. Overall outside to outside I was getting six and three eighth inches wide or long. A width, when turned this way, about four and an eighth inches wide. And an overall depth of about one and seven sixteenths of an inch. Now the cutout here, the part that's uh, cut out here when you're going to be installing it, five and a quarter long. Two and seven eighths on a width. And only about one and one sixteenth of an inch deep. Well, folks, that's going to wrap up for our quick look together today. I'm Steven. Thanks for watching.